Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm celebrating one of my OG clients, Lynn Bowser. Lynn has been with me since the very beginning when I started my coaching business, and she has been an absolute joy to work with because she's willing to do some really freaking hard work. And so Lynn is now, she moved to Charlotte, and um, she's now the managing director of a Northwestern Mutual uh, branch down there. Like, how do you guys say? It's a branch? Yep. Okay. And so she's here to tell you today what she did and how she made the leap to where she is now because she was struggling in the beginning. So Lynn, thank you so much for being willing to talk about the struggle because I think that there's not enough of us who talk about the struggle. Absolutely. The struggle is uh, what gives you a good story at the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell me when you came to work with me in the very beginning, what were you struggling mm -hmm. with? So I really struggled, you know, finance is a very male dominated business. And uh, so I struggled with a lot of imposter syndrome, confidence, you know, why would someone want to work with me? Like who would, you know, want to trust me with their finances? What do I know? You know, um, all, all of those self doubts and the fact that I, you know, wasn't as capable. I wasn't going to build a business like one of my male colleagues. Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, I had kids, I had all these excuses mm -hmm. as to why I wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. so. so there were, I remember the excuses and the stories and how was it affecting your growth? Uh, you know, it caused me to become paralyzed because instead of, you know, asking for a meeting or asking for an introduction, I would tell myself a story that I wasn't going to get that anyway, so why even ask? So, of course, when you stop asking, you stop growing. Yeah. Do you remember, like, the word we used to use all the time was hiding? Mm-hmm. My clients hide. Like, so you were the first one who kind of, uh, I, sh I saw this with, because you were one of my very first clients, and over and over again, I see women hiding from their businesses using a story, which are just excuses that it, I won't get it anyway. It won't matter anyway. So why should I show up? And it's only when we start showing up that actually things happen, right? So Absolutely. it was confidence, imposter syndrome. What else were you struggling with? Um, you know, that isolation, feeling alone, uh, feeling like no one really understood mm -hmm. what I was feeling or what I was going through. Um, and really just, you know, feeling not enough, mm -hmm. you know, like I wasn't enough for my family. I wasn't enough for my office. I wasn't, I wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. And you were a woman trying to build a business in a male, very, very male dominated world. And there were like a lot of shoulds. You should do it this way. You should talk this way. You should, these, this is like, and you really had to navigate creating your own path that like felt in alignment for you. I remember that was a really big deal. We worked on that a lot. Yes. And you know, language that felt right for me, all of the scripts that we get are all written by men and, you know, spoken by men. And it sounds really weird and foreign coming out of a woman's mouth. Totally. And realizing I could work with my clients differently than my male colleagues. I could have different conversations. You know, I could have a different timeline and it still was, it was good. And in my opinion, sometimes better. <laughs> yeah. I remember like you, they, they were like, this is the way that it's always been done. This is the way you're going to do it. And you're like, but when it comes out of my mouth, it sounds ridiculous. Like that. And so that was another good reason to hide. Mm hmm. Absolutely. So what were some of the solutions that helped you come to a place where you felt in alignment and that you could be, you know, doing the work and not be an imposter? What, what worked for you? So one of the things you helped me with is seeing my own power, right? You can't sometimes see how strong you are until someone points it out. And I remember just calling you and being like, Jen, Blah, and like <laughs> just freaking out over everything, and you know, you just telling me, but Lynn, you can handle this. Like, you can handle it, and I can't tell you how many times a day I still hear your voice in my head saying, "Lynn, you can handle it." I used, to, I remember, I used to say, "You can handle it because you are handling it." You never yep. could see that for yourself. <laughs> 
Yeah, and just uh, yeah, realizing that I had a hundred percent track record of surviving, you know, <laughs> all the <Yes>. things. <laughs> I have a hundred percent track record of dealing with all the shit that is handed to me. That's so true. Yep. So what would you say? <laughs> Uh, because a lot of people don't know how working with a coach is helpful. And that's, that's what I want to kind of make clear. I think a lot of people out there hear promises from coaches, especially about how much money they'll make or how their life will transform or like that the coach is going to do all the work. And so I'm curious, what did you learn about working with a coach? Um, that working with you allowed me to believe in myself. Mm -hmm. And so it's not about like return on dollar per se. It's about learning how to trust and believe in yourself. And you really were able to help me see that, like help me realize that. And you believe in me still more mm -hmm. than I believe in myself, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. And just knowing that and knowing there's a person out there that is going to listen to you they're not going to take your bullshit. <laughs> you know, they're going to kind of hand it back to you and make you look at it. Yes. Um, but the value of that, the growth, the personal development and growth is, is worth all of it. You know, like that it's invaluable and you get to take those lessons forward. And if you are in a leadership role, um, you get to share it. Right. Mm -hmm. So I get to take Jen Liddy wisdom and, you know, I think before I'm talking to one of my young advisors or one of my staff and I think to myself, okay, like how, how, what would Jen Liddy do? <laughs> <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> but it's, it's not, it, you can't even, I can't monetize it. It's, mm -hmm. it's invaluable and it is the best investment you can ever make because I like who I am as a person much more because of the work we've done together. Wow. So the next question I was going to ask you is how do you describe your results? And you just did. I like who I am and I believe in myself more. And I wanted to say thank you because you don't, I don't know if you know this, but you are the reason that I started a podcast. Um, you said to me once, I wish I could just take you and put you in my back pocket and pull you out whenever I needed you. And I was like, oh, but if I had a podcast, she could. And so you're the reason that I did something that was really hard and uncomfortable for me. So thank you, because you've given back to me numerous times like that. Awesome. Appreciate that. Wow. Um, yeah, you did good. private coaching, and you said that you loved having somebody that you could just connect with whenever you need to, and it's also changed the way you interact with your staff. Has it changed the way that you interact with like your family or your partner? Has it affected Absolutely. like outside of your professional life? Absolutely. And as a matter of fact, you, you've talked to numerous people in my family because you have a gift that not a lot of people have in the fact that you can help someone um, really dissect what they're working with and what may be under the surface that's causing them to be stuck. Um, without going into a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo or digging up the past or, yeah. you know, but really starting where we're at and moving forward. And I think that what people need to know about coaching in general is that um, you're really working from where you are and moving forward. And it doesn't mean you're never going to talk about something that's from the past, but you're not going to get stuck there like a therapist. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of works that way. Coaching really for me, it was impactful because it helped me just be where I was and then move forward. And I use those theories all the time with my kids. I mean, mm -hmm. super helpful, right? Like we can't change the past. It's a, it can't do anything about it. So what did we learn? Let's carry mm -hmm. that, that message forth and then, um, you know, go from there. Oh, that's so that makes me so happy. Thank you. Thank you for all that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, what do you think that it's important for women on the journey of growing a business to know? Like, what have you gotten from all the friggin' hard work you've done? Because you've done some really shitty, deep, like digging down deep hard work. What mm -hmm. is something you've learned that you think like would make somebody else's journey easier? Uh, don't be afraid to look at your own shit. <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> I know. It's, uh, 
women, we feel so guilty all the time about everything, right? We are super guilty that we didn't make our kids play uh, because we were traveling. We're guilty because we want to stay up and create a necklace at night instead of watching that TV show. Um, you know, but then we also feel guilty if we didn't sit there and do those tax returns that night because I chose to go to my kids' play instead. So there's always something for us to feel bad about. Yeah. Um, but we often just cover it, right? We put the mask on and we are like, it's fine. We'll just ignore it. But if you are willing to take that mask off and really look beneath the surface and say, hey, like this is a part that's nagging at me all the time and I feel guilty about it. Like, let's look at it mm -hmm. and resolve it. It just, it's awesome. Like, it's just, it's just amazing. So ladies, do not be afraid to, you know, call Jen and have her help you because it's just, it's, uh, it's such a gift. It's such a gift that you could give yourself and you're worth yeah. it. You are worth the investment of time and it's not about the money. It's about the time. Um, mm -hmm. and we all deserve to give ourselves the gift of time to take an hour out and really work on the stuff that nags at us. Yeah, and it's amazing how it like ripples throughout our entire world when we do take that time for ourselves. And it's funny, most of the women I talk to, uh, when they do this intake form that I want them to do to find out more about them, they'll say like they're a seven or an eight, and I'll always say, why aren't you 100% committed? That's like, they have to be 100% committed before I'll talk to them. And they always say, well, I have kids, and well, we're really busy, and I'm like, we all are, and it's not going to change. And those kids are in the house for the next 18 years. Are you not going to look at yourself for the next 18 years? Are you not going to have anything for you in the next 18 years? So thank you so much for saying that. You're awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. I hope you can see the shift in yourself. Like your energy is so grounded, Lynn, right now. I'm so, so impressed. I'm so happy for you. And I miss you. I miss you too. Um, so, I really appreciate your time this afternoon because I know that you're busy. So thanks for mm -hmm. taking the time to do this. It's so important to me. Thank you. Yeah. Anything for you, Jen Liddy. <laughs> <You're so nice. laughs> thanks, Lynn. <laughs>